go. I look so pale. My face is so pale because I cut tanned my body. But this morning I'm actually on my way to go get my eyebrows done. So this is how I fill them in. I don't like the way I fill them in, but I don't like not having them filled in. Like having them not filled in is even worse than having me fill them in. Excited. I am nervous though because apparently they don't use numbing cream which means that it's probably going to be quite painful. So, but I guess the long-term side of it, it's a little bit of pain for like never doing my brows again. <laughs> I'm going to go there now. This is my Christmas present, by the way, as well. And yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't even know what it feels like. I use a beaming. Yeah, this is what I call this technique, yeah. It comes out like a little lesbian. Yeah, it's funny though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You can't feel it now, you just hear it. It's really sticky. Mm, it doesn't look too good either. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like mine are a lot redder than yours. Yeah. On oh, here, my hair <laughs> cases are looking really good. I'm now back from getting my eyebrows microbladed and I was basically just going to sit down and explain my experience, pain, just anything in general about microblading and that maybe I had questions about before I went. These are now my brows so if I just give it like a quick close up. I'm really happy with them. A big story with my brows. Let me rewind back to the start. So I feel like for years and years like year seven eight like all of that i had awful brows but i think at that time brows weren't really a big thing but i think as they started to become a thing i was a bit like oh my god my brows are awful so i started my process by like getting like a little powder i think i used like a powdered eyeshadow and i just like filled them in very slightly just to see what it would look like. And that's how I kind of started it, how I started doing my brows. Kind of like progressed to like a pomade and things like that. And I tried loads of thing out, things out. So I feel like my YouTube channel kind of even shows my progression of my eyebrows because some of the videos on here are just horrendous. Like my brows are literally like slugs in some of them. I did a video on trying like the tattoo brow, which like is like a semi-permanent thing that just stays on for like a few days. And again, in that video, I was like, wow, this is so good. And I looked back and my eyebrows were so thick and tried out HD brows. Um, so this is like where they follow like the natural brow shape and they basically like pluck them, wax them, dye them. But I think the problem with that one is I still wasn't happy because it didn't give me a shape. So with my eyebrows, I have a, I basically don't have a shape to my eyebrow. Um, so a natural good shape. 
um and also some of the hairs grow like upwards and i don't really know why when i went to today the lady was like that's a good thing like because obviously brow lamination is becoming a thing now and basically half of my brow has got the brow lamination but the just the, this bit of it doesn't um but this end bit is that like basically looks laminated. I also found, because I'm quite sparse, I don't have much hair either. So I think when they dyed it, it's just dyeing the hairs, but I needed it really to dye the skin or something, because dyeing the hairs, there is really no hairs to dye. Basically, I decided to get microblades in, and it, I don't know if it's different, but in the UK you have to be 18 to get microblading. So I was like waiting to become 18. So that, I've just scratched here actually. But I was basically like waiting to become 18 so that I could get my eyes microbladed. It was like the first thing I was going to do when I like, turned 18. It kind of draws like hairs onto your skin. So different to like the ombre brows, which are a little bit more blocky. I found that like, I think I think that I would have preferred microblading because it's a little bit more natural. So say if like I'm literally wearing like hard, like I've only got mascara on, like makeup, then it wouldn't look like she's got like big brows on so they kind of just look like my natural hairs um and just my natural brows so that's why i chose to do microblading before i went i actually looked up and you're not meant to drink alcohol 24 hours before you get them done because apparently it makes you bleed a lot more so i avoided alcohol because i actually went out the night before but i was not drinking because i was like this is not worth having to like bleed the next day clean stuck this thing over and it kind of gives like the brow shape to it um and that kind of gives like a little bit of an outline and then i think she just basically outlined the brow shape and then decided if you were happy with it make any changes but to be honest i was happy pretty much straight away for me she actually did two different brow shapes on either side so a bit of a thicker one and a bit of a thinner one because i said as you can probably see i have got thicker brow hairs anyway like a brow shape so I think I'm used to it being a bit thicker. It's literally like a tiny little tool and I'm pretty sure it's got like three like needles. It felt like three, I don't know why it could have been like six, I don't know. It had like little needles and that's kind of like what scrapes I think. Um, and she puts like a little bit of dye on the end so she chooses the dye that's the right colour and she just scrapes it a little bit. So the first bit she did without any numbing cream so she basically i think she just helped do the outline so she scraped it and it's kind of got a horrible noise like you can kind of hear it going like i know you can hear it like scratching basically and i feel like the noise makes it worse than maybe the pain my hands were very sweaty i was literally like oh my god because my sister got it done before and she was like it's actually not that painful but i feel like she's got quite high quite a high pain th pain threshold whereas i think i was a bit like oh my god this is actually not painful like it's bearable but like it is very uncomfortable i think uncomfortable is the word you can feel the pressure where she's like digging basically into your skin um and then you can just hear and feel the scrape so my sister said it feels a bit like just a scratch and the lady was like it's like a paper cut kind of scratch but i my sister said she didn't feel the same but i thought that it felt a bit like pins and needles so like say this is like the line she's drawing like a bit of pins and needles all down this line as she draws it that's just what I thought that it felt of. Just very like severe pins and needles as she did each scrape. And then after that, she put numbing cream on. I think she did it like that so that basically it affects the dye or something. So she puts numbing cream after like the base bit. And then she just fills in the rest after that. I think she put some kind of dye over the top that looked a bit wacky. She did brush them through at the end with something. But again, I'm not sure what with. And that was basically it. It was probably just about, I think it was meant to be an hour slot, but mine was just over an hour, I think. I got up, I looked at them and I was a bit shocked because I think I'm just so used to them. Like the way I draw them on, I don't exactly like the way I draw them on, but it's better than them not being drawn on, if that makes sense. So I used to do them quite thick. Like as you can see now, it's got quite a sharp and small edge. Whereas when I did it, it was kind of all just one thickness throughout the whole amount, which obviously it's not meant to be. But I don't know, I just could never, I just found eyebrows so hard to fill in. Especially where I don't have a shape to like follow. You basically have to create your own shape. Finish, obviously because they're really like ten, like sore, they were very red <laughs> around. So they were really red, but then the like directly around the brows was like white. So like you had like white rim around your brows and then red everywhere else. It was definitely because of like some swelling um which has gone down it goes down within like an hour the swelling um and then they look normal 
do you think even if it was painful you would go for it anyway because you want the outcome so now i don't have to really ever fill in my brows again if i want them to just be natural um so it's going to just save so much time so i think that even if it was painful i probably would have still gone through with it so yeah i would just say ha make sure you're happy with the shape before you obviously start the process but now going into like the aftercare bit so you get you have to have a top top up six weeks after you get them done so that's where you might say oh i wasn't too sure about this so she might add stuff and basically they just like re-darken them because they will fade so you have to avoid makeup and water for seven days so a week after you've had them done so you can't really get them wet or anything so in the shower i'm gonna literally be like leaning back and getting my hair wet basically can't get them wet can't have makeup can't like basically get makeup on them for seven days and then after that you go back for your six week top up and that's where they like re-darken them because basically now obviously because your skin has literally been like cut they will basically scab up it sounds so gross but they're basically gonna scab and eventually when that all comes off it probably won't look the nicest but when that all comes off it's gonna leave like she said a very faint like basically the lines will hardly be there they're going to be really basically see-through and not as dark as what it is now and i can't remember what she said like after a few days they re like they rise to the surface and you can see the lines again so it is a really weird process that goes through so eventually it will be lines again but then you go back again just to top it all up again and make it darker and make any adjustments three year after you're supposedly meant to get like a top up again so you get a top up every year just to keep it going because it does fade like you can even see like the lines if you look you can kind of but it basically just looks like my own brow hairs like even this bit at the front looks like my brow hairs now my brow shape and it kind of up close so you can really see the lines my experience with the microblading obviously this is literally like just a couple of hours after i've got them done so i don't know what the what is going to happen after they kind of just look like my eyebrows they don't really look odd or like i've drawn them on i think they just look like your natural eyebrows i just kind of look at them i'm like oh my god they're my eyebrows <laughs> if you have any questions on microblading or anything like that then comment down below and i'll see you next time bye